Tavern 2 with your Nicobe. Just as the quicksand was about to swallow Sam, a hand grabbed his wrist. His eyes shot open. It was Mr. Nicobe, the old man who took care of the school. Mr. Nicobe tugged. Sam was yet yeah, free. Sam gasped for air. The playground sand, Sam said. It just tried to end me. Mr. Nicobe slowly got to his feet. He was out of Rest too. His face looked like a piece of paper the seven had balled up and then cried to flatten again. He stared at Sam. His eyes were small and gray. A chill went up Sam's spine. Mr. Nicobe growled. You should be more careful or you won't last long as the home monitor Sam griefs. Be careful of what? Be careful because other parts of school might try to eat me? Sam said, then he paused. Wait, what does my being the hall monitor have to do with this? And why do you care if I stay on this hall monitor or not? Mr. Nicobe began to walk away. Over his shoulder, he said, because I'm the one who chose you. What does that mean? Sam asked. But Mr. Nicobe didn't answer. He simply turned the corner out of sight. Sam shook his head, thinking, This has been the worst day of my life, and it's only 8.30 in the morning. He need to tell Lucy and Antonio about the quicksand about the creepy Mr. and Nicobe, but first he had to dish the orange sash. Sam darted inside the flung open his locker. Whoa! He tumbled back, drew his hand over his nose. His locker stunk. The smell coming out of Sam's locker reminded him of rotten chocolate milk or something. Yikes, what did I leave in here? he asked. Sam shoved the sash inside his locker. Then he knew that it smelled like really bad breath.